Diane in Denmark here, and hooray! Oh, where are my bum bums? Hooray! For the start of a new week. Uh, start of a new week in Fly Lady Land means uh, we're moving on, we're always moving on to another zone, and this week we are back in zone three. It's week uh, three of September, which means zone three. Now, I've told you before, um, week three is the main bathroom. But it's also one extra room because, you know, we're in the, the main bathroom a lot. You're hopefully doing a swish and swipe every day. So there's not too much to be done in here. So we also need to keep some other rooms um, on our radar. And you can choose any room that you like. Um, a room that maybe doesn't have to be done every week or every month, but just keep it on the radar. Like uh, if you're lucky enough to have a laundry room guest bedroom, kids' bedrooms, uh, office, garage, garden shed. And anyway, I've talked about all that before. You can go to flylady.net and see what the missions are for this week. And remember, there are five missions. You don't have to do them all. You don't have to do any of them. Pick and choose, do what you want, but just do something. So I'm going to be working here today. I'm also going to be working in our guest bedroom this week. Uh, but I'm doing detailed cleaning and remember, if you are a new fly baby, don't, don't worry about all this detailed cleaning because the main thing that you need to do is um, just make sure that you've done your routine. You know, that you are, let me, you're dressed to indoor shoes. Um, and, and that's the main thing. Uh, and then once you've got your routines down pat, or hopefully down pat, then you add in a weekly home blessing. Don't worry about detailed cleaning until you know you've, you've done your weekly home blessing for a few weeks. Now, I did my weekly home blessing earlier today, um, so I have already uh, detail vacuumed this room. And actually, when, when I, I gathered up all the rubbish, all the recycling, I went ahead and I washed out our little uh, bin. Um, so I'm, I'm just leaving that to dry here. Anyway, I'm just going to get started. The timer is running. I'm only going to be here for 15 minutes and I'm just going to do what I can. And I think actually I shall start with, here we are. I'm going to take my little uh, toothbrush and I'm going to clean out, you know, we've got an extractor fan. So I hope you can kind of see me today. This is not a professional video. I don't have professional equipment. Just work along with me in the zone. That's all we're doing. Nothing, nothing complicated. Right. I'm going to take this down and get it off. There we are. And then I've got my little toothbrush and I'm just going to get rid of some of the uh, dust. Gently does it, and I'm just going to wash this one out of the sink. One or two will do. So they are going to dry off and I'll put that back together again later. And then what should I do next? Oh yes, I think I shall shine the outside of the sink and the bath. Okay, so I'm just going to take a cloth and let me see what I've got in here. This one. Yeah, and as I say, we've um, we're hopefully in this area a lot, 
So you'll probably be doing your swish and swipe every day in the toilet or every other day. And listen, if you have lots of toilets, don't, you know, lots of bathrooms, don't, don't get caught up in being perfectionist and thinking that you have to do every single toilet every single day. Just, you know, commute between toilets, whichever one you've used that day, swish and swipe there. Right, that's the outside of the sink done, because I do the inside when I'm doing my swish and swipe. And I'll just go ahead and do the bath, outside the bath. Uh, and remember, I've told you this before, but the inside of the bath, I do that when I'm in the bath and my daughter's in the bath. We just take, um, just take a cloth when you come out of the bath and do the inside of it, and then there's no work. and people said well is that environmentally friendly well yeah it, it suits me I use a couple of baby wipes and I especially like them for doing the skirting boards or the baseboards in the kitchen and the bathroom because it can get quite damp in here and then that combined with uh, the fluff it's difficult to get off and then I'm wringing out a cloth all the time this way, I just kind of wipe it around, it's slightly damp, and then they go in the um, they go in the bin afterwards. And I just use the baby ones because uh, they're cheaper than the, the cleaning cloths, and actually, I'm, I, I don't need any cleaning product on it, it's just really a wipe down because we're cleaning consistently. Right, I'm gonna go in uh, clockwise around the room. You carry on with what you're doing. Just behind you. Hello. Here I come. And that way. Turn over. Oh, I'm almost halfway done. There we go. Right on to the next one. Turn over, the other side. And then this bit's a bit tricky, there's not much space between the, uh, the wall and the bath.
can go back. This can go off in the, the trash in the bin. That can go back. Just wash your hands. Let's see how we're doing for time. Right, we've been running for 10 minutes. And as I know I have mentioned to you before, you see me cleaning here for 15 minutes. Most of the cleaning that I do, I just spend two or three minutes when I'm in the bathroom, you know, wiping down one of the mirrors in here, um, decluttering one of the cupboards, you know, I just had to take a look. Uh, and, and the other thing you might want to do this week because we are in zone three, Take a look at your supplies. I'm just going to check mine. Yeah, we need to get a bit more toilet roll. Uh, we had a, a party at the weekend, and uh, let me see if I'm okay. I've got time to tell you a funny story. We had a, a party here at the weekend. My, my son, who's at uh, high school, he had a party on uh, Friday night. 30 Danish teenagers, beer, you know how it goes. And I was doing swish and swipe downstairs in the guest bathroom. They, they were in this bathroom, they were in the guest bathroom. And I thought, what is all this hair? I could see there's a lot of hair trimmings. And you know what it's like? There was one of the boys who wanted to have his hair cut. And you know, the girls are happy to oblige. And luckily, they didn't find the trimmer. They, they had taken some scissors. And, but don't worry, he didn't have all his hair cut off. Uh, so I found out because I was thinking, you know, what is going on in my bathroom with all the hair? Anyway, that's why it's good to do a swish and swipe. You never know what you're going to find. Anyway, on with some cleaning in here. Um, what should I do next? And remember, if you, if you don't know what to do, you can print out the lists uh, from the Fly Lady website, flylady.net. There's a list of um, things that you can do in this area. I think... I am going to um, do some of the, I'm going to wipe down the front of the, uh, the mirrors here, we've got lots of mirrors. I did the glass uh, partitions here and the ones of the shower and I did the windows when I was doing my weekly home blessing this morning because I, I, I told you before that when we get to that bit of 10 minutes on windows and doors, I keep in the zone, so I do them, you know, in the bathroom or in the guest bedroom, whichever place I'm working in. So I'll get on with that, and we've got like a couple of minutes, so you just keep going. If you need to take um, a glass of water, go ahead and do that. And I'm just doing my usual squish, squish, squish. And I think last time when we were in this uh, zone, I mentioned to you that I was thinking of getting some new uh, towels for here. I haven't done that yet, uh, but actually this week I am going to IKEA. Our local IKEA runs uh, some fun and workshops, and uh, I'm going to IKEA for like a guided tour uh, of the of their showroom and they tell you all the new things that they've got and give you some ideas and then you either get some kind of gift voucher or they'll give us something to eat so i'm looking forward to doing that this week because you know, you've seen my house we have so many things from ikea right good okay let me see uh 14 minutes okay I am going to wrap up here because, as I said, I've already vacuumed in here during weekly home blessing. And remember, if you're a new fly baby, don't worry about detailed cleaning, just weekly home blessing hour. That is your focus. Uh, and now I am going to mop. Uh, and I'll need to work out this way and remove the camera. So I'm going to finish it here. Just remember, I'm here working with you, shaking my pom poms. And if you can just do a couple of minutes in the morning while you're in the shower, you know, when you're finished, you use the towel that's going in the wash just to wipe the floor a bit, it all counts. And that reminds me, I'm gonna take this uh, rug here, that's going in the wash, and I'm gonna take out a new one. Right, that's it for me, Diane in Denmark. See you very soon, live long and prosper. And we made it under 50 minutes, yay! Go us, go us, okay. Have a great day.